Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Oh, another cloudy day in the Chippewa Valley with temperatures holding steady from the upper 20s into the low 30s, which is actually considered seasonable this time of year. Now going through tonight and into tomorrow as well, that's when some uncertainty does start to enter the forecast, uh, being that a lot of forecast models are trying to show that skies do clear out tonight. We're looking at sunshine tomorrow, but the problem is we have light winds throughout the atmosphere and with some moisture in place and how widespread this cloud deck is, I don't actually think we're going to clear out near as much as what the forecast models like to depict. So we're going to say the cloud cover is going to stick around through tonight and into tomorrow as well. Really at this point, it's a question of how many breaks in the clouds do develop, and this is kind of one of those wait and see situations. Otherwise, temperatures are going to stay above average from the 20s into the 30s, and we are tracking a low pressure system that could bring a few snow showers Saturday, but especially into Saturday night. As we take a live look out at Hastings Way from our Nicolay Bank Skycam, it is overcast right here in Eau Claire. Our current temperature at 30 degrees, the north wind at 10 miles per hour, and that is making it feel just about 10 degrees colder, our wind chill at 21. Now at 29 in Jim Falls, 28 in Chippewa Falls, 28 in Chatech, 27 in Rice Lake, upper 20s from Prairie Farm, down into Wheeler, uh, over towards the Alma area, we're at 34 degrees, 32 in Black River Falls, and really not much of a change down in our southern counties where we have readings right now into the low and mid 30s. Now you've probably seen a lot of buzz going around about a potential winter storm impacting parts of the Midwest early next week. Yes, that's a possibility. However, there is quite a bit of uncertainty. So anything you're seeing on social media, don't read into it too much because we still have a lot uh, to figure out. There is minimal information that we really know, but I'll tell you at this point at least what we know so far. That is, a low pressure system is going to take shape over uh, the Colorado Rockies, eventually becoming uh, more st or becoming stronger in the southern plains, and that's going to take a track to the east-northeast. Uh, it is going to be cold enough here locally that should we see any precipitation, all of it is going to form in the f or fall in the form of snow. As it stands right now, again, this is subject to change. It looks like our time frame to see that would be Tuesday and Tuesday night. Now the exact track is going to have a large part in whether we see any snow and if so, how much snow. And again, the timing is uncertain. So something we're going to continue to keep an eye on for you. And of course, we'll give you that first alert to any changes all the way through the weekend. Take a look at satellite and radar. You can see what I'm talking about here. The cloud cover is very widespread. These are low stratus clouds. Now we do have an area of high pressure to the northwest that's going to slide towards this direction. But again, overall, I think we're actually going to see more cloud cover than any breaks, despite what our forecast model tries to show you here. Uh, again, most of the models trying to say that we clear out, but I'm not completely buying that solution, not gonna rule it out. But chances are we're probably going to stay mostly cloudy. Much of the same for tomorrow, more clouds and sunshine, and then we are going to stay dry into tomorrow night. We could have at least some partial clearing before that cloud cover does turn uh, pretty widespread going into the day on Friday. So for tomorrow, we'll make it up to around 27 degrees, a uh, low 30s straight through the weekend. And then that weather system does look to arrive uh, sometime early next week. That's going to be the main weather system we are tracking. Uh, still too early to say how much snow could be involved there, but if things track just right, it could be impactful to the Chippewa Valley. Oh, we haven't heard that in a while. Yeah, considering uh, December was uh, the warmest on record mm -hmm. and little snowfall, little so snow. this will be quite the change. All right, thanks, Derek. Mm -hmm. Our